This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Hello and welcome to Into the Multiverse. We have more CERN news for you today. Some recent developments at CERN that we're going to talk about. Now, if you haven't had a chance, make sure you subscribe, click the bell, and if YouTube doesn't tell you when a new episode is, just know that it's every Thursday at 9 a.m. Uh, now, in case you missed the past, what, three episodes now, uh, the reason that I'm not in the studio, I, I suffered a minor knee injury, I have to go in for surgery. Uh, maybe by the time this episode is out, I might have already had my surgery. I'm not I'm not sure yet, but, uh, but we'll see. Prayers are appreciated. I'm okay. It's not a big deal. It's related to a bone disease uh, that I've had all my life, and um, it's not it's not terminal or anything like that. It's everything's good. But uh, as soon as I can get mobile again and get get down to the Skywatch TV studio uh, where I usually am, we will start recording in the studio again. But that's why we have the backdrop. And if you watch Chalk Talk, that's why Donna and I were Skyping for uh, for, for, for the series. And, and if, you, if you haven't had a chance, make sure you go over to Chalk Talk. It's uh, youtube.com slash Chalk Talk Official. Uh, we're, we're doing a series right now on should women be allowed to teach in the church. You might think that you immediately have the answer. Ah, I know what Paul said. Uh, but there's more to that story. And I, I think I think it would it would serve you well to at least check out the information. Okay, so uh, make sure you check that out. CERN, uh, big interest of mine. And obviously, and uh, uh, th- th- this is this is interesting. So a revamped collider is, is supposed to shine brighter light on, on physics mysteries at CERN. So y- Europe's uh, Europe's Physics Research Center, you know, CERN, uh, launched an upgrade of its Large Hadron Collider. That's the Particle Collider. And in case in case you're unfamiliar with the topic, the the the, the machine itself is the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider. The group of people, the governing body that decides what happens with the machine, that's that's CERN. That's the organization. Uh, now, on uh, Friday. Which, by the time you're watching this, might be might be a couple weeks, but th- this would have been six years after the huge particle accelerator solved the enduring riddle by confirming the existence of the elusive Higgs boson, uh, which which lends evidence to the even greater discovery that there's a Higgs field, meaning mass. Your mass is an interaction. Your mass is is an interaction with a field, uh, which th- that has all sorts of really cool stuff attached to it, but. Um, but that that that's when this that's when this happened. So six years after that, they're they're doing this now. So the staff uh, said that this overhaul, that this upgrade, will boost the luminosity of proton smashing experiments at the LHC. Uh, which again, for those who aren't familiar, it's a 20, uh, 27 kilometer or seventeen mile ring under the Swiss French border. Uh, and this new upgrade would increase the number of particle collisions tenfold, and produce which would produce a clearer picture of the subatomic world. If you are interested in this topic, a couple of years ago I wrote a book with Tom Horn called Abaddon Ascending. You can get that at uh, SkywatchTVStore.com. I'm sure it's it's included in some kind of uh, some kind of special deal where you get a bunch of free stuff. Uh, but we explain very clearly what's going on at CERN. We we do talk about. Um, Tom handled all like the occultic stuff and I handled the scientific stuff. And I I think it really comes together as a, a, a a cohesive book that, that makes sense and will help you understand what's going on. And the main thing is we don't tell you what to think. You know, we, we give you both sides of the story. You know, we give you the occultic side and the scientific side. Uh, I tell you what the scientists say. Uh, and I do, I do put my own opinions in there as does Tom, but we don't tell you what to think. Uh, now, I'm not saying that everything that CERN is doing is great and we should be celebrating it. You know, I, I, but at the same time, I don't get so far off the deep end that I think that it's going to blow up the world or create a black hole or something like that, because it, it, that doesn't really fit, that doesn't fit with prophecy. Now, there are, are there are other things that, that could, uh, like if they want to communicate with, and some, like the science director uh, actually went on record to say this, so it's not a conspiracy uh, theory, but uh, there are certain people at CERN that want to use these experiments to see if they can communicate with higher dimensional entities. Bad idea, of course. Terrible idea. Uh, They want to use... um, Another collider that they're building in Japan or China. I think there. I think there's actually two colliders, but uh, they they want to use that to map and explore higher dimensions. Uh, again, bad idea. But uh, so so I have my reservations about it too. But I also don't think that it's going to create a black hole that's going to destroy the universe. Uh, now, CERN director 
uh, General Fabiola Giannotti uh, is quoted as saying, this upgrade, this, this upgrade, quote, this will allow us to address new questions, the, outstand the outstanding questions in fundamental physics with more opportunity to find answers, end quote. Now, the decade-long upgrade involving a material budget of 900 and, uh, 950 million Swiss francs, which is about, it's close to U.S. dollars. It's like 953 million U.S. dollars. This will allow the LHC to churn out more data about particle collisions every year than it has since its working life began in 2010. Uh, the upgrade will focus the beams of protons that are smashed together, increasing luminosity, meaning more collisions and more chance of spotting something unusual. Now, last year, the LHC produced about 3 million Higgs bosons, uh, which, again, was a long-sought particle, which, you know, along with associated uh, force field, provided the answer to the question, where does matter get its mass from? You know, it's an interaction with a, with a quantum field. Now, after the upgrade... CERN said that the LHC will be producing at least 15 million Higgs bosons per year. So compare that, you know, against, you know, just 3 million last year. Now it could do 15 million. Uh, but this would allow physicists to get better acquainted with one of the, their, their most recent discoveries, which is really interesting. And they'll, they'll also be seeking out other particles and looking for answers about antimatter uh, and uh, the, the beginning of the universe and things like that. Giannotti said that her hope was that the upgrade, uh, which is akin to replacing your dingy, like, 60-watt bedside lamp with an industrial floodlight, uh, that her, her hope would provide answers about dark matter, uh, which has never been seen but is known to exist because of its effects on the visible material around it. Uh, or at least something, something exists, but we don't, we don't really know much about what dark matter is. We've done a number of episodes on dark matter and dark energy in the past, so you can go back and check those out uh, if you're interested. Uh, now, Giannotti is, is quoted as saying, uh, quote, for me personally, solving the mystery of the dark matter of the universe would be something great. Of course, it would be fantastic to produce the dark matter particle in the collision of LHC beams, end quote. So the value of the discoveries really can't be predicted, but they're expected to provide a boost to science and technology in the future, potentially speeding up manufacturing processes or, in, of course, improving uh, computing power. Because a lot, a lot of this converges into the quantum computing uh, arena. And we've talked a lot about that. that. That's where a lot of this is kind of funneled into. But even the technologies needed to upgrade the LHC will break new ground. Because focusing the proton beams that are smashed together, uh, it, it's going to require new superconducting magnets and electronics that have never been developed before with uh, potential spin-off benefits for society, which would which would be interesting to see how that might play out. Uh, now, another unknown is whether this upgrade could bring more Nobel Prizes for physics, uh, which Peter Higgs and uh, Francois uh, Eng Engler won in 2013 when the LHC vindicated their 50-year-old theory of a missing boson. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. It's in the hands of, uh, Giannotti says it's in the hands of nature. I say it's in the hands of God. We will see what happens. Um, you know, again, like, like a lot of issues, I think there are things to be excited about, but also things to keep our eye on and have reservations about and be cautious about. Uh, it, you know, I mean, it's, it, everything's a coin. Like every, every issue has two sides. So we'll see, but we'll keep on this story here on End of the Multiverse. We'll, we'll keep talking about it. Uh, and, and, We'll, we'll we'll keep you updated, you know, uh, give you as much information as we can for you to make up your own minds on it. Um, I, I'll, you know, I'll always be forthright with my opinions on stuff, but the last thing that I want to do is tell you what to think. Uh, I'll give you information. You can decide what to think. But um, so so that's that. All right. Again, if you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you subscribe, click on the little bell. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time. Take care and God bless. Global experts are now debating whether humanity should fear the rise of AI assassins. Will transhumanism, singularity, and demonically infused killer robots be the last onslaught of Satan in an attempt to destroy every human on Earth? Learn what the Bible has to say on this very urgent topic now in the new oversized book, Terminated by legendary author Steve Quayle.
in Terminated, you will learn why hundreds of artificial intelligence experts believe that humanity will soon experience giga death at the hands of autonomous killing machines. Why hybridizing humans is thrusting us toward a golden age of mythical monsters and godlike humans. And what Jesus declared about God's plan to shorten the days here on earth, because if not, there would be no flesh left alive. Plus, when you order Terminated from the Skywatch TV store, you'll also receive the brand new documentary movie from Gen 6 Productions, Forbidden History Revealed. The Egyptian presence in the Americas and the Pacific Rim, the great Smithsonian cover-up. Now, for the first time in history, you'll watch an eyewitness account of actual Egyptian artifacts and giant skeletons that were excavated from the Grand Canyon and burial mounds across the U.S. and South America, stored for over 100 years in a secret underground Smithsonian warehouse. This full-length feature film also asks the questions, why is the DNA of giant mummies and viable skeletons being extracted by the militaries of the world? Was a living 21-foot giant captured in 1877 with the most unusual features ever noted? And will the giants of yesterday become the super soldiers of tomorrow? These two incredible new works are available together for a special donation of only $50 now at the skywatchtvstore.com. So don't delay. Order Terminated, the Steve Quayle special offer. Online now or call 1-844-750-4985.